Good morning, good morning, ladies and gentlemen. We are getting ready to rumble. Well, at least to get out of here. <clears throat> yeah. I'm just getting our day started. Yes, indeed we are. We've had us a good night's sleep. Now we are making our way back to Winnipeg. Yeah. Looks like there are still a few trucks parked in here, but not too bad. There's quite a few parked alongside the road here yesterday. Let's see if we can get us a good day in today. Turn left and then turn Should left be a in very 70 good meters. Day. We got to say 1140 kilometers to go yet till we get to Winnipeg. Turn left and then take the entrance to the right so, at 240 meters. It's going to be a late night today, but uh, hey, that's the way it's going to be. We uh, got here late last night, so. Uh, Pretty much have to drive late today, right? Yep, that's the way it goes sometimes in trucking. Sometimes you gotta work late. In 200 meters, sometimes you gotta work to early. On Highway 1 East Madison Hat. Yes, RJ, we will definitely do that. So from here on, Oh no, it's pretty much hammered down. Yeah, I guess my uh, one camera turned off, so I just shut the other one off too and... Uh, Continue on this road for 313 kilometers. Basically checked out to see what was wrong with that camera. Here we are back at it again. Yeah. But yeah, we got us a long day ahead of us, but... Uh, that's quite all right with me. Yes, indeed. Will kind of screw me up for doing a reset though. Because now if I do a reset at home, because I won't be home probably till four o'clock in the morning. So that means uh, I pretty much won't be able to go tomorrow if I want to do a reset. But I'll have a look at my hours yet and see uh, see how my hours look and go from there. But yeah, there's a cop sitting there. This pickup truck was going way faster. As soon as he saw the cop, he slammed on his brakes. Like, what's the deal? You know, it's way faster speed limit up here. So uh, you know, if you're going to speed limit, then why slam on your brakes? <laughs> That's the way some people are, man. I don't get it. You know, you're going speed limit. Why the heck you got to slam on your brakes if you see a cop? You know, he ain't going to touch you if you're going speed limit. Unless you don't have no license or insurance. And he recognizes you, then he might pull you over. But like we got pulled over here a few days ago. <laughs> yeah, we sure did. Um, by now you guys have seen that video already, but yeah, that was kind of interesting. That shook me up quite a bit. And I'm still thinking about it. <laughs> but anyways, we'll cruise on here and we'll have ourselves a fantastic day. Appreciate you guys joining me today. So let's have us a fantastic day. We have just entered into say, Scratch Me One again. Yeah! Yes, indeed. And as I told you guys before, this is pretty much all you're going to see up here. It's pretty much a little bit of valleys and no trees at all. This is what you see is what you get. Pretty much all the way across Saskatchewan. Yes, indeed. We got us probably another, uh, well, hour and a half to uh, Swift Current. 
we still have 965 kilometers to go to Winnipeg. Yeah, I know it's going to be a hard working day today, but oh well, that's quite all right. Didn't do much yesterday, right? Pretty much sat all day yesterday. I think I only, what did I do, 108 kilometers? About uh, 67 miles or something like that. That's all I done yesterday. Well, looks like we got some kind of construction vehicle up ahead of us here, so. Oh yeah, and all that four-wheeler had slam on his brakes too. Yeah, test vehicle ahead, pass with care. All right. Not sure what they're testing for, but they're testing something. Testing vehicle. Okay. Oh, well, looks like they got some kind of sensor on that trailer or something like that. And they're just, I don't know if they're testing the asphalt or what they are doing, but they're definitely looking for something. But at least it's not quite as windy today as it, what it was yesterday. I don't know what the dispatch wants now. Just got a message, so I guess we'll check it out here a little bit later. Make us a pit stop somewhere and see what the heck they want. That's one down thing about satellites, you know. You got a message and you, know, you kind of got to check it, right? Because you don't know what they want, right? You got to pull over somewhere and check it you know and you can't always pull over when you want you know but whatever nice and clear day today pretty much few clouds and that's it but I was talking to uh, the wife there earlier and also when I did the live show uh, drive shaft Drew came in there and he said it was uh, raining in Winnipeg wife said the same thing about Steinbach was kind of drizzling there too so We'll see if we still get rain when we get home or not. All right, guys, we are starting to get closer towards Regina. Yes, indeed. I do know somebody that would get a good laugh out of that. <clears throat> but yeah, we just made a pit stop up here in Carrington, I think they call it. It's about... Uh, 20 or 30 kilometers before Moose Jaw. So we got about uh, 90 kilometers to go to Regina. Yes, indeed we do. It's an absolutely gorgeous day out here today. And we just stopped in there in Carrington there, or whatever that place is called. And little Husky there. Went inside and grabbed the say Subway sandwich. Had us a quick bite to eat there. And all goes the journey continues on. Making our way towards Winnipeg. We still have 660 kilometers to go. And it's eight minutes after seven. Yeah. We have just passed the longest day of the year according to what they are saying on the 21st of june was the longest day in the year so now summer has officially began begun or whatever they call it at least that's what they say i don't never understood it why it would be after the longest day is gone that that's when summer starts but it beats me but looks like a nice green field up here to the right that farmer is probably very very happy with his crop up there to the left too there's a big field of something up there too I don't know exactly what it is that they got planted but looks pretty nice and green I wish them all the best. 
with their crop, you know. We all need it. Yes, indeed. But if we continue on cruising along like we have, just steady going, we should be in Winnipeg by 2.30 according to my GPS. I told them I'd be there by 3, so... That still allows me a little bit of room to uh, make a pit stop somewhere, yeah? If I need to. Which I probably will need to. You never know. I mean, that's almost uh, six and three quarter hours driving for sure. So, uh, yeah, I almost need to have another pit stop somewhere. All right, guys, we are still cruising along here, as you guys can tell. Yes, indeed. The matter of fact, we're not too far away from uh, getting into Manitoba. Yeah, we just been giving her. I know uh, we are definitely past Regina and all that good stuff, and past Whitewood now. So we're. Uh, I think we could be coming up to. Uh, Mooseman here pretty soon. Yeah. Yep, that's what I think what it is, but uh, yeah, we're just giving her air and got still 411 kilometers to our delivery in Winnipeg. And it's almost 10 o'clock at night right now, so the sun is just about getting ready to go down, so I figured I would make one last clip here before uh, we hang her up. And uh, show you a little bit on what we are up to and all that good stuff. But hey, before we go, let's check in with the wife what she's up to. Okay, time to do a taste test on these delicious chicken. So, let me do a taste tag. Like... Truckaroody style. Okay, here we go. Mmm, 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 mm. delicious. Well, I guys, uh, I hope you guys enjoy that little clip from the wife. Yeah, actually, she was kind of teasing me with uh, cooking a barbecue at home, so she was cooking some uh, chicken out there on the grill and. She was bugging me about it and, uh, and so she sent me this little video actually just to tease me but I decided you know what let's put it in our video today <laughs> yeah we're gonna bug you back sweetheart <laughs> I hope you guys enjoy that though it was a little bit of a fun uh, clip there and I thought it was pretty funny and I decided you know what let's put it in this video and give you guys a little bit uh, an idea on what she's up to and show you guys what she's doing at home and all that good stuff but hey we will be home tomorrow night if nothing goes wrong or this morning I guess or tomorrow morning I suppose it would be because after midnight we could say tomorrow morning right but uh, yeah so we will be we'll be home tomorrow early morning probably at four four o'clock in the morning or something like that and then uh, we'll be sleeping in tomorrow I guess a little bit yeah it's gonna be a late night but uh, so far I feel great I don't feel tired at all yet so we're just gonna keep the hammer down and make our way down to Winnipeg ASAP right but yeah Anyways, we'll continue on cruising along here, and if something happens here or whatever, we'll keep you up to date. Alrighty, guys, we have made it home. Yes, indeed, we have. Yeah, look at that. We are in our driveway sitting here at home. I just went straight to bed last night, and uh, we slept really good, and here we are. Yeah, we finished dropping our trailer in Winnipeg there last night and well, it was early this morning, I guess. And uh, went home, bobtailed her home and here we are. Yes, indeed. 
So I hope you guys appreciated the yesterday's video. I know it's a bit all over the map uh, the last few days, but uh, I hope we can improve on that. But anyways, we're going to get out of here and we're going to start tomorrow's day. So uh, have a good one, everybody, and we'll catch you here tomorrow morning on Trucker Rudy. behind me that day is gonna come